Hello everyone, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day today. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do a review. Finally got my hands on an NBA Hoops Blaster retail box. I've been searching for them. I've been driving around trying to find um, a blaster box for a little over a week now and I have not been successful. So I went over today to buy a couple of things I needed, of course, and we do the old, the course, the trip to the card aisle, and there it is. There were, I found several boxes. Well, it was there was only about six boxes stocked for NBA uh, hoops. So I was like, let me go ahead and grab it. And while I'm grabbing it, I see a little illusions 2021 to 2022 for $20. So I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and try this one as well. So there was a couple of interesting things there, but since since I saw hoops and I was going to grab so many, I put a lot of the stuff I had back and just want to go ahead and load it up on hoops. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and do a small versus. I know hoops is probably going to have an advantage. Well, we'll see because 2021-2022 uh, class wasn't fully loaded like the way um, 2023 class is, but they, they still had some okay, good, some pretty good rookies. As you kind of see here, they have in the front, you are going to have Cade Cunningham, Josh Giddy, who's currently under investigation, as, as he should, um, Evan Mosley, Scotty Barnes, Jalen Green, Jalen uh, Jalen Suggs. And some of the things that you're looking for here is going to be for autos, rookie sigs, um, trophy collection signatures. You're going to also look for ultra rare. rare retail exclusive inserts so let's go ahead and get started i have never opened an illusions basketball before um since i started recollect i mean i was a big basketball collector when i was a kid and i did a lot of hoops collections actually um and uh upper deck as well because there was no panini but uh since i you know came back and started collecting again i will tell you that i'm not i've just done football so i've this year for the Wimby chase i've been doing basketball and then i said hey you know what i saw these i said let's go ahead and give it a chance so we'll see we'll we'll compare the two products but i've always i always like illusions um i do like oh wow we had something here but i do like the way their base cards look a little hologram there it kind of takes me back to um my kid ears where you know getting a hologram actually meant something but there's a little bradley beal here's a will barton with the nuggets and we got <laughs> he was with the san antonio spurs um is josh primo he is no longer in the league i don't believe um you know there's some issues with him very very young kid i hope he gets a second shot in the nba he was very, very young, um, but interesting card here for the Josh Primo. I'm not very familiar with, uh, this is an instant impact with um, illusions. Uh, yeah, I don't like this guy. Ray Allen, um, you know, closed out the Spurs when he was with Miami since then. I, well, I never wasn't really a big fan outside of, um, of course, I, man, I can't think of the movie right now. Um, outside of the movie that he made, I mean, that, that was, I remember his girlfriend was Lala and, uh, outside of that, uh, you know, I wasn't a big fan. He was Jesus Shuttleworth in the movie, Miles McBride. And then we got, well, actually he's, he's a rook. And then Jonathan Kaminga, which Jonathan Kaminga is still in the league. All right. So there goes a little Evan. I think he went. Uh, I don't know if he's still with New York. Uh, Mike Conley. And then we got a King of Cards of Donovan Mitchell. Really, really nice uh, insert there. 
Now we got a throwback of Chuck. Oh man, that's a nice looking card when he was back in his Phoenix days. An Alex Caruso who's still with the Bulls may get traded, uh, may go back to the Lakers. I'm not a Lakers fan, but kind of pulling for that trade a little bit. And then Isaiah Jackson. Yeah, I mean, I wish if DeMar's included in that deal and they do trade him back to the Lakers, I just, I want DeMar to win one. So that's why I'm kind of pulling for that trade. Here's a Giannis. Man, I wish. That's a good throwback card. Here's a Cat Williams. Jason Kidd. A Luke. Luca. Not the right Luca. And a Trey Murphy. All right, and then we'll continue on to the next pack. We're halfway through these packs. Uh, haven't pulled anything really that that big. Interesting. I think so far the interesting, most interesting card for me is that Josh Primo. Um, all right, so we got Bridges here. Little John Collins. Miles Bridges again. Oh. No, no, that's not. It wasn't the same one. This is his rookie card. And then we're gonna go to Patrick Beverly. And it was never. I was. I'll be honest. I was never a fan of Patrick Beverly. All right. So we got a rookie of Jalen Green. It's gonna be a base. And then we have Dwayne Washington Jr. on the rookie as well. All right. So we got two more. And none of these feel thick, but I don't know if you can. Did I say no? You can pull signatures. I don't know if you can pull pull patches in the the packs. But here's a little Ben Simmons. Um, I think he's been looking good this year. So a lot different from the previous years where he just would not shoot the basketball or do anything really. Uh, but a Wendell Carter Jr. Penny, all right, and look at this penny. This one's interesting. So if you don't know about Penny, he has his own signature shoe, and you can see here he's actually wearing the Jordan Nine. So you can tell this is going to be his probably his rookie year. But even in his rookie year, he had the Air Ups. So uh, I'm a big uh, shoe person. So interesting to see Penny in Jordan Nines and not in one of his signature shoes. But then again, it's it's Jordan, right? So Andrew Wiggins, a little Wilt. And then we got Moses Moody on the rookie card. So we're down to our last pack. And then from the last pack, we'll go ahead and jump to NBA Hoops. Let's see. We may have something a little interesting in here. Jaron Jackson. Former Defensive Player of the Year. And then DeMar, his first year with the Bulls once he left San Antonio. And then we get a second instant impact of Joshua Primo. Um, I don't know how I feel about that, guys. But let me... <laughs> it is a different colorway. Uh, this one's on a green. This one's on a silver. Uh, but yeah, two Joshua Primos that's no longer in the league. I know at, when he was playing with uh, San Antonio, he was about 18, 19 years old. So he has a lot. He has some growing up and, uh, you know, he also needed some help. Oh, here's a Jason Williams. So hopefully he got that help. And then we got a Daron Sharp rookie. Um, but yeah, that solution was a little fun. Just a little $20 pack there. Um, but let's see. Now what NBA Hoops is going to give us. And with the NBA Hoops, um, I think if you do pull a Wimby, uh, I think you get, like, the trend has been so far that if you pull, I think he has like two variations. And if you pull one, you're probably going to pull the other right behind it. So on our Wimby chase, that's what we're hoping to pull. But yeah, a um, lot of possibilities here. I'm not going to read the whole thing because it's not like it's a rare pack. A lot of people have been opening it already. 
Um, so you've probably seen other videos out there. Uh, the only way you'll be interested, probably this video, is if we pull something big or something rare, you'll probably tune in. But so far on camera, we really haven't pulled too much uh, big stuff. So a lot of base cards here. We're just going to kind of go through a lot of these really quickly. Um, I don't want to extend the video more, but here's second year Jaden Ivy. Seth Lundy. He's a Cameron <laughs> Cameron Payne with the San Antonio Spur. He was he was a Spur for about 15 minutes. Bryce Sensible in his rookie. This is gonna be a yellow. And I think the rookies are gonna start coming up here. Here's a AI. There's a Josh Green in blue. There he is. <laughs> There he is, arriving now. The NBA hoops arriving now. Victor Wembanyama. He is in yellow here with the arriving now ticket. Awesome, awesome, awesome start to the hoops pack already. Oh, man. We've been on a Wimby chase, and so far we have not been disappointed. Uh, it looks like it's not going to stay up there. Yeah, so that's a, off the first pack also. Just our luck. Al Horford, Anthony Edwards, who he's he's been hooping. Jalen Suggs. Jordan Clarkson. He's from San Antonio. De'Aaron Fox, big fan of De'Aaron Fox. I love the, uh, his basketball play, and he is um, good for the NBA, good image for the NBA. Just, I just wish that um, he would get a lot more attention than what he's getting now. But I know if he was like on another team that was a little bit more marketable, uh, it would be a different story. Who is RR? We got something interesting here. Paolo. Banchero, and this is going to be a rookie remembrance card, Paolo. And let's see. So it is not associated with any game, but it is a patch. Nice looking patch there off a of blaster. Wow. So that is also pretty nice. To get something like this on a blaster box. So we've gotten a wick, a Wimby, a, pa a Paolo, and a Paolo jersey. But let me get this guy sleeved up. And I think I'm using the wrong sleeve. Give me a quick second here, guys. Apologize for the delay, but... I want to get him sleeved up pretty quickly. Yeah, so Paolo was last year's rookie. And uh, it's looking very good as well. So happy that we're able to pull him. We're also going to put him on a top loader since it is a jersey. We want to take care of him. Anyway, so we did pull up Paolo. Um, want to go ahead and sleeve him up. So far, this blaster pack has been very, very good. Now we're going to finish with uh, an arriving now also of a sure. So, wow, this, this pack has been fantastic. Cannot, cannot be mad about that. And remember, um, I was one that said I'm probably not going to pick up hoops. And the first pack I pick up on the second opening... We've had some pretty good luck with these cards. Here's a Luca. Here's a Ben Simmons. He's been playing good. Um, Danny Green's no longer there. Here's a Zion, who I don't know if what his feature looks like there. Ryan Ruppert, he's going to be a rookie. Here's a Giannis. Keontae Johnson. Here's a Ja. 
Here's a Devin Booker. Oh, look at that. This is in gold with red dynamos. Very nice looking card as well. And then we got a Donovan Mitchell sky view. So kind of, <laughs> I guess we're kind of looking out uh, of a plane, I, I'm assuming, for that sky view. Interesting. I guess he's jumping into the plane out of the clouds. <laughs> Interesting view. Mike Conley. Yeah, they give you a whole bunch of base cards here. Derek Rose. Mason Pumley. Here's a Keegan Murray. Oh, is my first Jaquez. Jacquez. So he is a rookie. I was actually hoping that the Spurs would draft him, um, but he ended up going to Miami. So Jaime. I want to say he was out of, uh, well, it shows back here. I think he's out of UCLA. Yeah, he's out of UCLA. So, it's a cool rookie. My first time I pulled his card. And Shepard. Austin Reeves. That would have been a cool pull for last year. And here is, of course, the player that shall not be named. Look at that. A Kawhi Leonard it looks like a little foil there. Very nice looking card. And then on the Dynamos, um, this one I think looks a little bit different than the Devin Booker. So, of course, comps will come up. That, that one's of Steph Curry. Comps will come up. We still got this pack and then one more pack after this. Man, Porzingis is looking like a man possessed over it. And, uh, well, especially the way he started the season with Boston. I'm I'm glad to see that everything things have been working out with him, um, because you know he, he kind of had some some issues, and we kind of thought he was almost done. So good to see that that is not the case. Actually, this is going to be a little bit different with this Jason Tatum. Or maybe, yeah, we'll put him over here. I'm not too familiar with hoops anymore. And like I said, I haven't really picked up basketball cards in quite some time. Oh, here's Kim Whitmore. So this one's going to be a greetings from Houston. Uh, with Kim, I do think that the Houston Rockets got a steal with Kim because he should have probably gone top 10, top 5. Um, he slid down the draft for certain reasons. And I think they got a very good player over there. Norman Powell. Victor. Oladipo. Kayla Martin. Here's an Amon, which we just pulled your arriving now. Here's a Steph. It's crazy because we had um, rookie rookies all at the end, and then you get two vets in between those. Andre Jackson Jr. with Milwaukee and Joel Embiid on the sky view. So very nice packs here. So just a kind of uh, a quick little recap on what we've pulled. Um, sky view of Joel Embiid. We pulled several rookies. I'm probably not interested in those. Um, a, a greetings from Houston from Cam. A Tim Hardway purple. Uh, I'm going to look into this, but I don't think that's going to be much. Um, a Dynamo base for Steph Curry. Uh, it looks like a foil here. Uh, the player that shall not be named. Sky view of Donovan Mitchell and then Devin Booker on the Dynamos also, but he is going to be actually like on a silver there. Josh Green on the blue and Bryce Sensible. Um, and then, of course, for our big hitters, we are going to get Paolo on the jersey. 
And then we're going on the arriving now. We do have Ashore and Victor Wembenyama. So I'm going to call that pack a very nice, successful pack. So um, I am going to probably claim the NBA Hoops the winner. Um, only because this is not even so much about the name, but from what we got out of the product. We basically did get the Victor, Wimben uh, Victor Wembenyama um, insert. We got a jersey as well. Several rookies, a uh, lot of color. Where with the illusions, we didn't really receive. <laughs> we got a back to back primo that I was kind of like, really, you couldn't give me somebody else. Um, but definitely, it was still fun. The illusion was still fun to rip. I'll probably buy another couple of those packs throughout the day, uh, throughout the next several days. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much for the video. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. Um, the, that would really, really help out the, the growth of the channel. And, you know, f just follow along. Follow along, you know, kind of see us, how we're going to grow and how fast we can grow. And then once we get to, like I said, once we get to that thousand, start doing the giveaways. For example, that ba that Paolo jersey would have been a fantastic giveaway for um, for this time around if, if, if we were at the thousand subscriber. But we'll get there soon. Um, but, yeah, thank you very much for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one.